Just Jigsaw Puzzles allows you to play jigsaw puzzles from a variety of collections which you can select here on the left. The variety collection has a bunch of different images. You can tap and drag to scroll through the images in any collection. To select an image simply tap the image and it will highlight. You can move around and choose which image you want. Notice that some of them have check marks and some of them have three dots. Check marks means that you have played a jigsaw puzzle with this image before and completed it. Three dots means that you're in the middle of playing and you can continue this game if you want. Let's select a new image like this one here and then tap play. You'll see the image appear in the middle of the screen cut into puzzle pieces. You can change the level of difficulty by tapping and dragging the slider here. So for instance you can create a puzzle with just a few pieces as you would maybe for a younger kid or you can make it as difficult as you want for more of a challenge. Select somewhere in the middle here. If you want to have the image a little larger, take up more space on the screen, you can use the Enlarge button. Also you can change the cut. Moving it up will create more crooked pieces. Moving it all the way down to zero will create very straight edge pieces. Once you've selected everything that just the way you want it, click the Start button and it will be broken up into puzzle pieces and you can now play. To move pieces around, simply tap and drag them anywhere. You can drag these pieces around and you can try to link them up. When you get two pieces close to each other and drop one, they will connect and now the two pieces will move together as one. You can connect as many different pieces as you want into different groups and move them around until the entire puzzle has been put together. You can also select many pieces at once by tapping in an empty area and dragging to select multiple pieces. And that way you can clear away a space if you want. You have a lot of different options here as well for arranging pieces. If you click the Options button you get this control panel here and you can do things like focus only on the edges. This will only make the edge pieces visible and movable. The others will be faded into the background and you can't select them. Or you can choose the opposite. Do all the non-edge pieces or switch it off by choosing All. You also have the ability to arrange pieces so you can move all the unconnected pieces to the bottom for instance. And you can see only these correct connected ones are here. You can move these up to use them. You can move them to any side. You can also arrange them on a grid. So for instance if you want to move them all to the left by having them kind of in a grid formation you can do that. Now you can easily pick the pieces out from there. You have a lot, of the, a lot of other options here as well. For instance, the pieces have a natural bevel to them make them look real. You can change that to a border or nothing for a completely flat piece. You can also make the pieces brighter. Some of the images might be too dark for you on your screen and you can brighten them up with three different levels here. You can also change the background pattern and the color shading applied to it just, just by tapping on any of these colors right here. Or just change it back to normal white and this last pattern here. You also have the ability to pause the game at any time which stops the counter in case you're using that to uh, keep score uh, for yourself. You can also hit solve to finish the puzzle at any time if you're finished playing it and don't want to complete it. Or use look here or just this button here at the bottom will bring it up and it brings up a copy of the picture where you can drag it around move it out of the way to, as reference. You can also click here to shrink it and have a smaller size or the X button to close it completely. At any time you can exit the game hitting Exit. Now you can still continue the puzzle you're in. Notice there are three dots now next to Water Lilies. If I select it and hit Play I have Resume Saved. I can ignore all of this, hit Resume Save and I'll get back to where I was. Also note on this main screen here in addition to playing these collections. You can also play the Daily Jigsaw Puzzle which pulls a single image up from JustJigsawPuzzles.com for you to play. Or you can use from your photo library to pull any image from your iPad's photo library. Anything you've saved there, anything you've synced to your iPad or a picture you've taken on your iPad. They'll all appear here so you can play puzzles that mean something to you. A picture that you took for instance or a picture of your family for instance. Note that the variety collection is free to play. The other collections cost a small amount as an in-app purchase.
but Daily Jigsaw Puzzle and the ability to use your own photos are free parts of the game. In addition, if you've previously purchased one of these collections to play and you've got a new device or reinstalled the app at some point, you can always go to the Help About page and use the Restore Purchases to get those back without having to pay for those again.